Hey guys, I'm Rob, this is The Brick Farm, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest LEGO Ideas project that has been released and it is the typewriter. So it is set number 27327 and it contains 2079 pieces. And it retails for 359 Aussie dollary dues. So first things first, let's take a quick look around the box and then we'll get it open and then I'll assemble it off camera and then show you what it looks like after it's been completed. I probably won't do a time lapse on this one because I want to just take my time with it and enjoy it rather than be stuffing around with video equipment. So once again, the box is part of the 18 Plus collection in the old black packaging and we get to see the typewriter with nice little um, typewriter font. On the top left corner, the typewriter itself looks really cool, very, very realistic, even if I say so myself. And I do like the same green colour that they chose for it. Flipping the box around, we get a closer look of the typewriting mechanism. And on the back, we get a bit of information about it, such as the dimensions and a little bit more of the typewriter that you can see. And the dimensions are 10.5 inches wide or 27 centimetres and 10.5 inches tall or 26 centimetres. So all in all, it's basically a nice little square. So that's enough of me waffling on about this thing. Let's get it unpacked and start assembly. And one little extra thing I'd like to mention is this new kind of packaging for the instruction manual, which we have never seen in LEGO before. It comes in this little cardboard sleeve, and in it we get the actual manual itself, which is quite cool looking. Do like that picture at the front, and at the back we get QWERTY. But also, in this one, we do get this little A5 little pamphlet. And in there we have the little letters that you can actually stick into the typewriter and they are written in I think roughly around 41 or 42 languages. So wherever country you're from you can rip this one out and just stick it in your typewriter and put it on display. And that is actually written by the CEO of LEGO, Thomas Cook Christensen. So that is quite a cool little addition to this set. So here's the final build and it took me around 8 hours to finish. It is more of a Technic build than a brick build. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Technic builds personally due to the fact that it hurts the hands a whole lot more than brick building does. I personally suffer from a bit of carpal tunnel syndrome due to the work that I do on a daily basis. And it so happens when I was putting this set together I was having a bit of inflammation in my hands so my hands were already hurting by that stage. So all in all it took me a lot longer than I thought it would. But all in all, it took me 8 hours and I did it over 2 days, so it wasn't too bad. But I do have to say, this build does look incredible and is an amazing piece of engineering, even though it is Technic. And due to the fact that it is Technic, it functions like a typewriter. And I do have to say, the designers who put this thing together are absolute geniuses. As far as the build itself goes, it basically functions like an actual typewriter from back in the day. Not only do all the keys function, but you also have a carriage where you can feed a piece of paper through it and click away at the keys, which not to mention you can press those keys, but they also do click like an actual typewriter. And with that, the carriage moves back and forth. And when you get to one side of the piece of paper, you have to manually move that carriage across, like on an actual typewriter. I also personally really love the fact that when you press each key, you get that little clicking sound, which you had on the old typewriters. I personally think that it's an amazing touch and rounds off this set perfectly. Now moving on to the build itself, like I said it is predominantly Technic based and at the start of the build you do have a lot of repetition and that mainly involves uh, putting the key mechanism together which involves doing the same thing 32 times. And here is just a bit of photos that I took while I was building this set just to show you what I mean. 
But once you sort of get into the groove and you have a bit of music on in the background or even TV in the background, you get into this sort of rhythm and it goes by quite quickly even if I have to say so myself. The other painful thing for me personally, once you've assembled all those key mechanisms, you had to slide them down these Technic rods in a specific order, paying very, very close attention as there are many, many little tiny paths that go in between these little things. So you can make, and I did make a few mistakes while doing this, so make sure if you are putting this set together to pay very, very close attention specifically to this part. Once the whole key mechanism is assembled, that's where the fun starts, and that is where you have to put each individual letter on. And may I add, all these tiles are printed, they are not stickers, because that would be absolutely infuriating to place that many stickers. I would personally lose my mind and that would probably make me not buy this set. And may I also add, there are only two stickers, and one being at the front which just says system, and also one at the back which just says system in play and it also has the designer's initials at the back SG which stand for Stephen Guinness who initially designed this set for LEGO Ideas. I also really enjoy these Technic builds. You basically build all these Technic components where you have absolutely no idea what the hell they are for and what function that they serve and then once you finish them you insert them into the typewriter and then it sort of slowly comes together and you go oh man that's what that thing does because when you sort of see it outside of the typewriter you have absolutely no idea what they are for and how they are supposed to be working and I do have to say they are quite complicated so a lot of attention does have to be paid in order to get these things right otherwise your typewriter won't function properly so that's basically all I have to say about the technical aspect of it, and I do have to say it is very, very technical. But overall, that whole typewriter, as far as a typewriter goes, it is absolutely amazing. And I did, as I did mention, you can actually feed a piece of paper through this, and you can sort of type away at it. And I'm pretty sure if you have this thing on display and people walk past it, first of all, they'd think that it's a real typewriter and not a Lego built model. So I think that is quite cool. As far as a typewriter goes, it hits that nail right on the head. I also do like that little touch of the little ribbon here with the red and the black and the little ribbon selector between black ink and red ink, which is a quite cool touch as well. As far as negative things about this set, there is only one. And they are the brown Technic rods down the side. Why can't LEGO make different coloured Technic rods? It's the only thing that sort of stands out like a sore thumb when you look at this thing from the side as the whole thing is sand green and then you have these tiny little brown dots on the sides. So as far as that whole build, that is probably the only thing I don't like about it. As far as the rest of this model, it is absolutely amazing. It not only looks like a typewriter, but also functions like a typewriter. And there is nothing more you want from a Lego model than this. So I really look forward to what is in store for us AFOLs. If this is the quality we are getting now, imagine what we can expect in let's say 5 or 10 years down the track. I already think the models look breathtaking now. So I personally can't wait and see what is in store for us down the track. So that is enough of me flapping my gums. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the LEGO typewriter. If you did, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!